In this video, I will show you the new Google Slides sidebar. This is gonna be fun, let's get started. So here I am just on google.com and you can see I'm signed into my account. You'll need to also be signed in to do this. Next, I'm gonna to go to drive.google.com. Of course, you can also just click here on the waffle symbol and choose Drive. When you get to Google Drive, you can start a new slideshow. So I'm gonna to go to new Google Slides and it opens up the Google Slides interface. Now, not much has changed over the years. This looks pretty similar to how it did several years ago. But if you look here at the right side, beyond the list of templates, I have some new buttons that have recently been added to Google Slides. So let's say in my Spanish class, we're gonna be doing a Spanish review. Maybe it's the end of the year, and we're gonna be reviewing all of their Spanish. And I'm going to just X out of these templates here at the right so that you can focus more on this sidebar. So let's say as I'm working in Google Slides, I've got my title slide, and let's say I'm ready to move on to the second slide. Of course, I can click the plus sign to get another slide, but now I would like to add some real content onto this slideshow. In the past, you would have to go here to insert. Let's say you wanted to add an image, you'd go there, and then you would either upload from your computer or you would search stock images. And that is still possible, and it's a great way to add images and other content. But check this out. Here at the right, you can click on these buttons to add images. So I'm just gonna click there on stock and web, and that saves me several clicks. Instead of going here to the insert tab, and then clicking through to select it. All you have to do is click this button, stock and web, it pops up. And I can search for an image or an animation or whatever it might be. And then I can click to add what I want right into my slideshow. So for me, that particular button on this Google Slides sidebar is really just a great shortcut. Click, start searching. It's very immediate and fast. Now what if the image or the element that I want to add into this slideshow is not just a stock image. What if it's something that I have created or collected or developed and it's in my Google Drive? Look what you can do. Just click here on this folder button and it takes you to a shortcut to your Google Drive and also to your Google Photos. Here I have some images of a cat. I'll just go with this one here. I click and it's added immediately into my slideshow. So that was in Google Photos. What about Google Drive? If I click there on Google Drive, it taps into my Google Drive folders and files, whatever I have in Google Drive. So pretty quickly here, I can collect digital assets either on the web or in my Google Drive, and I can pull them together onto a slide or onto various slides in my slideshow. In addition to these two really useful buttons, we have building blocks. If I click on building blocks, it shows me all sorts of useful elements that people have found to be useful in all sorts of different ways in their slideshows. So things like stickers or just little simple icons that you can add, everything from that to things like lists or graphs or agendas. So these are pre-made building blocks that of course don't apply to what you're trying to create, but you could certainly revise these, edit them to match what the real agenda is for your meeting or your lesson or whatever it may be. So maybe we're going to start by learning about mammals in Spanish, then we'll move on to reptiles, amphibians, etc. Even these graphs and charts can be edited. So I could change this to 100, change this to 400, etc. And I could change the years and what it represents. So especially with these building blocks, the elements that I'm bringing in from this sidebar, many of them are editable and customizable, not just by shrinking the size or making it bigger or moving it around, but even changing some of the basic information or other elements of, in this case, the building blocks. Now, if you look closely, let's say, yes, you do want key statistics, but not this format, not this layout. You can just click this arrow here to get a more complete list of key statistics and different building blocks that would fall into that category. So there's much more there than you would notice at first glance. So I definitely recommend that you check out the building blocks and what's available in them. Okay, what about the first button? I'm kind of going in reverse order here, but this first button just opens up the templates panel that we started with when we first opened Google Slides. And you can click it to hide the templates, you can click it again to bring them back, or of course you can do what I did at the beginning of the video, which is X out of the templates, and then just bring them back when you need them. 
Now, what are these templates? How are they useful? Basically, if you want a unified style and theme for your slideshow, it sometimes can come in handy to pick one of these templates. Now, they're especially useful if you really need an investor pitch deck or a leadership workshop or a portfolio. And the reason I say that is because look what happens if you select, let's say, the investor pitch deck template. It gives you individual slides that you can add or you can just choose insert all slides and these slides very much are meant for the purpose that's indicated on their title. So Investor Pitch Deck, it's got kind of everything that you would want to include or that you might want to include in your pitch deck. So this does not apply to my example of the Spanish review. So just be aware of that. When you add a template in this case, you're getting a whole collection of slides meant for the purpose listed here. And there's different styles and fonts and things, but they all have a unified look and feel. So they could be very useful if you're specifically looking for, let's say, a conference presentation presentation or something like that. So I'm going to hold control and tap Z a few times to remove the template because in this case it's not what I need. So I'm really liking this Google Slides sidebar. I've only been using it for a few days but I think it's really useful especially in these shortcuts down here and then also the building blocks if you need those in your presentations. If you'd like to learn more about Google Slides Please watch my Google Slides videos and also my Google Drive video, especially Google Drive for Beginners, the complete course, which in my humble opinion is the best, most comprehensive video tutorial on Google Drive. You will learn it inside and out, including how to use Google Slides. For now, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you so much to my super techie channel supporters. You're fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I'm able to continue to make these videos in my spare time, on the weekends, in the evenings, etc. So thank you so much for what you do to support the channel.